Man, I just thought of the funniest music video ever. And it would be where there's like the kid in school, right? And it's me. And it would be me going back to school. <laughs> to like a high school or something. <laughs> and I would be high as fuck. And um, I would be like going into the school just looking normal, right? Or just, yeah. Yeah, like I could be another student could be walking in and sitting in the classroom. And I would be in my car, <laughs> but it would be me looking into a digital, like I'd be looking at a screen of that person walking into the school, you know, but it would be like me chilling in my car and it would be like me on the beach in California smoking a blunt and just at like, you know, just, you know, and have some music playing and be like, do 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 and just be keep playing that the whole time and I'm just sitting there high as fuck getting high with like my friends and it would be like me and my me and my cousin would be getting high it would be like somebody that looks like him you know that would like be him <laughs> just be like and then he'd hit it. <laughs> and I'd be like, ha, ha, ha. And, you know, we'd just be, like, talking about what we're doing in school. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'd be, we'd be, like, passing <laughs> that <after> for <laughs> This shit already happened to it. It's so funny. And, uh, and, yeah, I'd just be, like, <laughs> you know, like, talking to people. And it'd be, like good job, you know, and you just say, like, shit, you know, like, while the person's, like, sitting down, you're like, good job, and, you know, <laughs> you know, pay attention, you know, and, um, you're like, tell them who's boss, and, you know, we just be, like, saying shit, like, just funny shit, we pop it up, be like, yeah, tell that motherfucker, you know, and, um, yeah, and then it would have me, like talking about this video like in the music video of it so I'm just like talking about me creating this exact video the whole time you know so it really grounds me and puts me back to reality you know so I can really see what I wouldn't be doing when I wasn't doing what I wasn't doing and then I wasn't <clears throat> no, but then I was you know, I could have been I could be and um yeah, it'd just be like just someone carrying out their regular life, and it's me. Like, it'd be, you know, like a blonde woman walking down the street doing some jogging. Or, you know, someone's walking to class with some notebooks in the college in the next scene, you know, and she's like just looking at stuff. And then, you know, it would be me looking at shit, and I'd still be passing that, you know, to my cousin. And, you know, there's like a girl behind us and like another guy or something. You know, and I mean, just something to look at or two girls in the back or, you know, but not three girls, you know, because there's so many people, you know, one half makes sure it looks random, like, like, you know, a kid just, you know, got in the right back passenger seat, the other two loaded in from the other side, came in from the back, something like that was be how they get in the seating arrangements, you know, me and my homie would be up front, my cousin would be up front, you know, and. Yeah, and then it just have the controls. It'd be like, you know, lean back. And, you know, I mean, I'd be like, <laughs> just like, uh, like a job. I'd be like, let me just adjust the seat. And I'd go like that, you know. And, um, yeah, um, I could be all the different people, you know, during those times and other events because I am those people. You know, when I'm thinking of something good, like, I'm literally chilling back and I'm giving people instructions. You know, if I'm doing something correctly, you know, that's how I feel. I feel like I'm always directing traffic. When people want something easy to go good, you know, they're waiting behind somebody like me to interact with. You know, that's what I am for. I'm like a big wall. You know, I'm like a big, you know, I'm like riot control, you know, with one of those huge shields. You know, just hold on, hold back, you know. It just sits there, <laughs> you know, feels comfortable, chilling while all that shit's going on. Or if there was a riot, 
you know, I'd probably be like, <laughs> you know, when someone's like, hey, <laughs> you know, like, from, yeah, but, um, yeah, that's how my music video would be if it was about how to live life. I think it's, uh, how I look at things, you know, and then I'd have, like, you know, a person praying with their hands together, clasped. And then, at the same time, there'd be like an audience in another screen. Like, there'd be a person here praying, and there'd be an audience in another screen here. And then there would be um, a Chinese person, or a Japanese or something, you know, with the Japanese flip-flops or whatever. You know, those little shoes, sandals, with little elevated techos or whatever they're called. And um, they would be like walking, and then they would bow. <laughs> and, like, you look at the difference between how that looks like a neg double negative of your ass is when it's like that, you know. Because there's an ass here, and you know, when you say church, <laughs> your ass. <laughs> you know, when you're double negative, uh, you know, that is non existing, the not to the not, you know, what isn't, what's not, would be what that is. And then, you know, in the fourth part, I guess it would, it would have, like, um, some goofy person like this going with big eyes it'd be like one of those clown faces or something with those teeth sticking out you know by some of those teeth and have some big huge cartoon looking eyes you know have a green face or maybe you know a little bit of blue or something make it look all clowny and funky and look nasty and then have some have somebody puking in the toilet and another one you know and he's throwing up like yellow stuff and like pieces of diced tomato and you know, like sausage and pasta and <laughs> fettuccine and shit. He's throwing all that shit up in that scene. And then, you know, you'd see like a piece of candy corn and someone's talking about a piece of candy corn. And then in another one, it would have somebody going, <clears throat> and it'd be like a little kid or something, and it, it's holding a box of um, nerds candy. And eats it, and then it's got this three year old kid going, <laughs> and he's got all these nerd candy colors all over his teeth, you know, and it's all rotten. And then someone says, Don't forget to brush your teeth, and another one. And then someone says, um, Don't forget to brush your feet, and then it has this girl's perfect foot, and I mean, her legs, and just perfectly extended. And I'm like, Oh, and someone says, Like, open wide and it has this huge piece of wood that's shaped like that <laughs> like open wide and then it has like instead it has like a girl with a bible eating a popsicle <laughs> you know and it's getting all over her tongue and stuff and it's just like a nine-year-old <laughs> and then you know and then something about like a lung diagram where it has the uh, tonsils and it has all the sicknesses, how it can get sick at the different angles. Like tonsil health. And then, then it would have, like, and it, it just looked like someone's tonsils just sitting there breathing on like that. And then in another screen, it would have, um, like a kid answering the door at a Halloween thing, you know, and they have that little bag, you know, and it has the candy in it, and he's like, candy <laughs> you know and um and then probably like someone another screen with some vodka and and then and then like a person next to him has like a paper bag that's like black it looks like you know when you're huffing paint but instead it would be vodka and someone poured it it is like trying to <laughs> And then there'd be somebody next to him like this, and, and like he he has a shirt on that says nervous, and it would be a red shirt. And he would be like this, next to that person. And, um, and then there would be like a preacher next to like some bushes burning. And it would be brush that was burning. You know, it looked like a ball. It'd be like a ball of tumbleweed then. And then a guy, like, at a picnic table eating some spaghetti is what it would look like. And that would be in another one. And 
and probably like a triangle and then some guy saying isosceles while he's holding a praying mantis in his hand saying isosceles you know and then you know probably have you know something that looks like um Oh, damn, what are those called? Those little moles that go in the ground, those little groundhogs, you know, they do those little holes. I saw some in Colorado. You know, take a video of some groundhogs looking at shit and then have, like, um, a fat gerbil in, like, a glass container. And then it would have a really fat gerbil, you know, that is eating nuts and stuffing it inside of its face. And then you would pretty much learn my lesson, you know, that I would have, you know, but anyway, my form of this type of shit is like taking everything and speaking that way, you know, if you could keep coming up with these metaphors and you're looking at that much shit at the same time, I do, I can look at a million things at the same time, we all do, you know, I look at millions and millions of things at the same time, and that's just some of the things that I'm looking at at the same time. You know, that's how I am. <clears throat> and that's that's how I think. And I have to have more metaphors in order for me to even think. And it's always been that way. And um, I was born that way. And, you know, um, I have tactile memory. And I could see, you know, but I have to have a visual to explain while I talk about shit. Because that's what I look at. When I think, I don't really look at the shit that's being said. I'm looking at the shit that I'm saying about the shit that I said. Touch my memory. You know, I'd have to have something that I could, you know. So I have to use all these metaphors to explain stuff. And it gets hard to speak when I'm just using those metaphors. And now I don't use something that I never used before. And I have to translate it to people, you know. But anyway, you know, that's just... It's just how I kind of look at it. It's like I'm driving in a vehicle and I mean, I have everything else for me. So I think if that idea is shared, then maybe people will be, you know, a little bit stupider. They don't have to try as hard in that area. And they can enjoy it. I have a bunch of metaphors. One would be someone's hand that is like really dry and crumply almost and like really pale and it looks like and, and then and then another visual of Jeff Foxworthy you know and then um, Subway you know and it would say eat fresh <laughs> with a piece of yellow cheese from a um, grocery store and then it would have no correlation with it you know it have like a picture of a bread sandwich with just bread and somebody like putting them in the sand you know and then it would have also in another frame um, you know like a subway meatball sub sandwich that would be sitting there and turning while there's like pieces of crackers being cracked and like smushed in front of it while it's rolling the sandwich up And then someone would try to smoke a cigarette and then it would turn into a Subway sandwich, that Subway sandwich. And then it would be where that person is now underwater trying to smoke it. And it would be like, uh, it looked like it wasn't, a, it was about to be a joint and then all of a sudden became a Subway sandwich. And now he is underground submerged holding a Subway sandwich, you know. And it would be that one upside down. And then it would have to have some kind of inside of the Subway sandwich with the meatballs and everything. It'd have to have some kind of thing where there's like a bunch of worms and stuff like crumbling around and shit. In one of those little tanks or something. You know, like kind of like how you have like an ant farm. You have like a worm farm. <laughs> you know, and... You know, and then probably to top it off we just have... You know, like probably a visual of like two geckos having sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that would probably finish it all. <laughs>